Welcome to Seashells, an interesting looking pixelated, I mean, sort of pixelated, but it's also just a filter, but let's look at the lighthouse one. How's the texture? Yeah, let's, let's call it pixelated, the retro style. Very beautiful. Anyways, it's a horror game I found on itch.io, and I'll just read, I guess, the notepad that came with it. It says, survive six nights in the lighthouse. Become who you were always supposed to be. Best played in the dark with headphones. Well, I need my face illuminated because YouTube shit, so, you, you know, we're just doing it. We're just going to get into it. Also, my hair is fluffy today. My, in the previous days when I've been recording, my hair's been sort of dirty and flat and hard to fluff up, but now it's clean and easy to fluff. Available for the head scratches. Ah, oh, shit, baby. Wait, why is there... Is that a book in the wall? I fucking love head scratches, by the way. It's so... Fucking, oh. You know those kind of... Wait, let, me, let me read this, then I'll rant about head scratches, man. I've been afraid my entire life of failure, and the slow realization that I had wasted every chance of happiness, of abandonment, and other people, realizing how little I had to offer them, of regret, and how it would curdle me into something bitter, sour, and alone, like Greek yogurt. Sometimes I felt good after confronting my fears, but mostly it felt like each time took a little more energy to face, energy which never came back, so I built a cage for myself. Locked myself inside, and swallowed the key. And I stayed there for days, and months, and years, mind withering and collapsing in on itself. But at least all the what-ifs remained only those rather than becoming concrete realities to pile on top of each other until I was crushed into powder. Until the day my uncle came to, self, to my self-made prison, until the day he told me about this place, how it had transformed him, could transform me. I mean, that's all good and all, but why the fuck is it a book in the wall? I'm gonna presume that book is meant to be on the bed. But anyways, yeah. Um, it's like one of the, when you're a kid, and I'm not sure how often it was for any other elementary school, when they had the lice check, and everyone had to get their lice, like, their heads examined for lice, and it was just like something that happened every, I don't know, like two, three, four months at my elementary school, and they'd like sort of comb through your hair with a stick like they're fucking monkeys looking for ticks. God damn, that feels fucking good. I'm sure it was for like every kid. Just the sensory, just this, this, the sensory feeling of your head just like sort of having like someone comb through. It just feels so fucking good. God damn. Am I the only one who loved that shit? I never wanted those lice checks to end. I was just like, God damn, a little more to the left, please. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only one or if everyone else enjoyed those lice checkups. God damn. I need to like, pay someone to give me a lice checkup every day. But anyway, so yeah, survive five days or nights or whatever. Sounds interesting. I'm kind of wondering what will happen. Something about an inner monologue of a guy's insanity or how he wants this prison to shape them. Interesting. I think this is the same person who made the game, uh... Wow, that is the slowest closing I've ever seen. Uh, let me double check the Steam Store page, hang on. Or not the Steam Store, uh, what was it? Wait, what the fuck was the game even called? Seashells, okay. I know I played something that this developer made. The developer's Leaky Fingers. And they made another game I played called Concrete Crown. I'd, I'd suggest people watch Concrete Crown if they haven't seen that. I played that on my channel. But Concrete Crowns was pretty interesting. So hopefully we'll have the same intrigue in this. Ooh. Is the bulb stealing my energy? Well, I mean, that's all good. At least now we won't have any kind of navy ships crashing into an island. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing changed. That's all good. I'll close the door very slowly. Survive five nights. I, I, when I downloaded it and saw that description, I thought it was talking about, like, survive monster attacks, like, maybe like FNAF sort of style, but not, not point-and-click style. 
but like shit's gonna happen. You have to try to like board board the windows and survive some kind of onslaught, whether you know psychologically or inner demons, anything rather. But I, I guess I can go to bed. No. Oh, like yeah, we can. Okay. I'm only going to sleep with the door closed. Thank you. There we go. Much better. Well, this place is different. Hmm. Yeah. Why am I stuck? Don't tell me I'm already encountering a bug. Yeah. I saw the fist. Yeah. What? An ancient bed frame with a thin, mildewy mattress. The light at the top of the tower needs to be activated before resting. Well, maybe if I wasn't stuck, I'm trying to just see if I can jam myself out. No. Alright, did the game update then? Uh, wait. Fixed movement issue when using 144 hertz monitors. Fixed a bug that prevented player movement. Yep, it was an update. It was one day ago, though. The game was released one day ago, and looks like the movement issue was also fixed soon after, but I had already downloaded the flawed version. Fantastic. I'll be right back. Hmm. Alright, so I'm back. I'm wandering in the water, seeing what happens. It'll be anything bad. Oh, the fog muffles the sound of the waves. The air itself feels thickened. Interesting. Like, it's like I can step on the water without sinking, so I'm guessing there's just no uh, depth to the water. It's just a very thin water wavy system. I mean, it looks cool, but otherwise, you can't drown. Back now to bed. Alright, now we can move. Fantastic. So apparently the light turned off. Oh jeez, I cannot see. Oh, I gotta turn up my own monitor brightness. So why do we need to survive? Is it just like living on this island creates some kind of lunacy? And you need to survive it to become a better person? Or... I don't know, I'm kind of confused. What is the meaning of this? There's going to be some forms of symbolism, at least what I learned through the developer and how they make games from the uh, concrete crown. Is there has to be a meaning to everything. And obviously, that's not how uh, lighthouse lights activate or turn on. It's uh, so I'm kind of curious what it's possibly meant to relate to or sick Imagine that being the sound of your boyfriend climaxing. Isn't that erotic? <laughs> Wait, the bed's here. But I could possibly go to sleep. But what if I go deeper? Watch it, like, after a point, this will be the main floor, but there'll be stairs going deeper. Oh, okay, we can't go anyways. Good noise, but nothing else. Let's go back to bed. You hear that noise, and you're just like, eh, whatever, let's go to sleep. Nothing out of the ordinary. And the light's out again. Or, no, it's just light out. We survived the night. Oh. Oh. Hmm. A splatter of glistening black goo. Looks like I was visited by Puro. Interesting. It smells like rotten meat. I, I hope that Puro, Puro... Is it Puro or Puro? I, I, I usually say Puro, but... I mean, I'm hoping he doesn't smell like rotten meat, but yeah. My uncle had been a source of mystery for as long as I could remember. My family sometimes spoke about how he... About... How, when I was very young, he had suddenly vanished without a trace, only to reappear several months later with a drastically altered personality. 
Before the disappearance, he had been awkward and uncertain, prone to spending all of his time locked alone in his house, but once he returned, he was confident, gregarious, and full of life. The type of man others instinctively gravitated towards. The difference was so severe that my family were initially wary, but like all things, this unease faded over time as they became acclimated to his new and likable personality. However, no matter how many times they questioned where he had been, all he ever gave in response was an odd, knowing smile that made his eyes gleam brightly. Eventually, everybody stopped asking. Everybody but me. So that note is for both of these? Weird, Weird that there's two notes, but... Um, otherwise, the bed is no longer here, so I moved it? How the fuck would I move the bed? I don't know. Peru is not allowed to visit me, though. Not if he smells like rotten meat. But the light's in his eyes. Perhaps it could be the symbolism there. The lighthouse light and the uncle's eyes seeming to be bright. Just putting the two and two together, just because, you know, lighthouses are bright, and they said his eyes were bright. Is there a connection between this, which you could say resembles uh, an eyeball? I got a retina, pupil, everything. That this is an eye of sorts. Almost like an all-seeing eye, you could almost symbolically say. Some strange ambience going on. I'm always going to check out here just in case of notes, though. So be prepared for that. Would go to bed, but yeah, okay. Let's go to bed. Five nights, huh? Hopefully, crouch sleeping doesn't bug the game. So it's the thing that's outside again. I'm not gonna check the main floor door just in case it does open. I'm going to have to go and hope that turning on the light. I, I'm, I'm hoping he's downstairs, and not up here. I'll turn on the light in hopes it scares him away. This whole, uh, Pyro wannabe. Let's be Pyro or Pyro wannabe. Let's go with a Pyro wannabe. See? He doesn't like the light. If not the joke about some dude's climaxing noise, we could bring up the old meme of autistic screeching, and no one take offense to that, please. But it's just a funny meme. Crude and offensive as it may be, it also can be comparable that this is autistic screeching. But, no, oh, the door's locked. Okay, we'll see what happened. Also, is it just me or did the bed go up one more level? I think that's another thing that's symbolic, is the floor, the bed was on the first floor, it went on the second floor, I swear to god, now it's on the third floor, so it should be up even higher the next time. But that would technically also mean we have less... It's more inefficient to go down to the main floor, because the bed and turning on the light are so close to each other and it's what you only have to do. You don't have to check outside, but we want to in case... To see reality, to see the notes that might be left behind. Hmm. Interesting, I guess. It's something to think about. All right, now it's light. There's second floor. First floor. Nothing. No, the boat's gone. A spatter of glistening black goo. It smells like rotten meat. Lost within the muffled seas. Looms a darkened tower, bright, 
To cleanse the soul of fear's disease, feed your cage into the light. Keep the monolith appeased, tend to it six howling nights. Sails away a newborn, free, birthed anew to spread the right. Hmm. Wait, what? So the book being in the wall was not a bug. The lighthouse absorbed it? That's why, like, the book is gone. Like, literally, I mean, where it was, it's... Wait, yeah, like, the, the book isn't here. It's just... This lighthouse seems to be absorbing things. Or we could comically think this is just another bug, and then it was like the developer actually deleted the boat, and the developer just didn't realize the boat actually got flown here, and he just doesn't know about it. That's highly doubtful. The lighthouse definitely is absorbing everything on the exterior. I'm not sure if it's doing that to the creature, but everything is going up. The bed, the boat, the book. The book probably is in the walls and going upwards, as the bed is. Anyways, but we'll turn on the light one more time. Or, not one more, sorry, like four more fucking times. Or, if we had to do it twice and wake up in the middle of the night, we have to do it like 12 more times. Around 12 at least, I can't do fucking math. I don't know how many times I've done this already. I'm not really officially counting. Uh, all right, now bedtime. All right, finally sleeping. I'm kind of curious how the game will progress, but I'm going to... Is that above or below? Sounds like it's up here, rather. Well, hopefully we can turn on the lights and it'll fuck off. Get out of here. I'm wondering if like, maybe the lighthouse is dragging everything shitty about the person, like it's... What is it? If it is a... See, autistic screeching. I mean, you, t you take your pick. It's either that or it's it's your it's your boy climaxing. When I say it's your boy, it's not me. I I, I don't sound like that. Trust me. <laughs> I, I shouldn't even go in that direction. What am I doing? Um, fucking. It's like imagine like a fucking like circle having sex and like climaxing, and that's the noise they make. Like some kind of fucking bison. Like some kind of noisy bison. Like sort of like they're. What was I thinking about bison? I don't know, like a bison just being like hunted, and, you know, being hunted and they're sort of like making a screechy noise as they're being hunted sort of thing. But anyways, yeah, let's just go to sleep. Uh, gotta prepare myself for some kind of like downvotes for bringing up things like that. Maybe some, some laughter, but you never know these days. Anyways, let's check out for, for which, probably third, second, first. Hmm. Goopy. More goopy goop. Gotta see if we can find a note. And we found the note. I picked the right sludge. This ordeal has been much harder and stranger than I initially expected. Every night, an ungodly chorus of abominations emerges from the sea to gather around the base of the tower and attempt to frighten me into fleeing with their incessant gibbering and gurgling. Were it not for the cleansing power of the light, I would have vanished from this place on the second morning. It seems to pull the weakness from me each uh, the weakness from me each time I touch it. I am left feeling serene, calm, and like I can fight through the rest of the challenges with a sense of clarity and purpose. I just fucking predicted this. I was like, what if the light can, what if the lighthouse is absorbing this like the shittiness of the person? Or did I not finish that thought? I can't remember if I actually said that or if I was interrupted by the screeching noise. Shit. I can't remember, because then it would have been awesome. Because I was just about to say, like, what is it absorbing, if I'm presuming my theory about it absorbing something is right? I don't know if I actually finished that thought or not. Yeah, no, some people be like, Nico, stop, you're drunk. 
Um, I will not give up, not this time. But I was, yeah, see, my theory about this going upwards was also right. It's even higher. I'm also possibly spiraling around it. Well, actually, is it higher up? It was over here before. Maybe it's the same height. But I don't know why the lighthouse would be doing that. Unless it just goes with my other theory of the lighthouse absorbing everything. Yeah. No, yeah, I need to turn on the lighthouse. Alright, so. With that finally lit, let's do it again. Yeah, the bed's right here. Wonder what'll happen in the last night. Kind of curious. Bed's going higher and higher, but we're gonna run out of floors. Nope. Oh. It'll be easier reach the light. I don't even dare want to go through that door. Yeah, fuck off. I'm confident thanks to the lighthouse. Some weird, long-lasting moaning. All right. Ugh. All right, light time. And we're, of course... Let's see. If this is four... Wait. They got this high in the tower? That's not good. A spatter of glue. I am exhausted. The walls of the tower have started to constantly shift ever so slightly in a pulsing rhythm, making a faint noise which sounds like a beating heart full of wet granite. The soft grinding causes my hair to stand on end. I can no longer sleep without the calming effect provided by the light. Disastrously, just as I had decided to abandon this accursed ordeal, my boat has vanished, likely taken by the sea demons in the night. I have been trying to devise a means of escape, but the assessing grinding sound is an invasive presence that dissolves my ability to focus properly. I need to get out of this place. It will drive me to madness before I can complete the right. Better return home a failure than a lunatic. Wait. This, the seal up? Wait. We're... Underwater? But it's not going through the windows? Wait, what? Is it something bad going to happen if I open this door? I just can't. <laughs> this is supposed to be the morning. So that's why the goop is inside, not outside. And a goop with a note, mind you. Let's go at the uh, balcony door, then. Wait, what? I mean, I guess I'd normally see the island. It doesn't look... By perception, it doesn't look like it's far away. And that it's not close. And yet it is. That's odd. Very strange. Just by going here, even. Strange. Well. Let's see what happens. Oh, jeez. Let's just turn her up. You gotta do it quick. At least I'd presume... That the worse it gets, the more dangerous it would be, the faster you should be. But I'm sure time isn't a problem. Ooh. The hands. Oh, damn. Interesting effect. They definitely don't like the light. The fact that they have that much... 
power is questionable. Anyways, um, oh, good night. I wouldn't be able to sleep, obviously, but apparently we can. No. Oh. oh, damn. The true face of this terrible tower was revealed to me last night through a dream. In this vision, I rose from my bed and descended the staircase for what seemed like hours, far, far below the surface of the ocean and on yet further into the depths of the earth itself. As I continued spiraling down, the constant pulsing sound of the shifting tower gradually changed in quality from the grinding of stones to something more biological, more wet. After what seemed like an eternity, the stairs ended and I emerged into a small room filled by a giant, rotten, still-beating heart, almost three times my height. It dangled from the ceiling via a network of tree trunks, thick arteries that glowed with the uncanny brightness. Gazing at this monstro monstrosity, with his back turned to me, was the figure of a man silhouetted against the pulsing light. As I silently took in the ghastly scene, he slowly turned towards me to reveal a familiar face. It was my face. Oh... He walked towards where I stood, frozen in place, clasped my shoulders, and whispered, Father. Then sickly light of the tower burst. Wait, then the sickly light of the tower burst from his eyes and mouth and burning gushes, and I screamed as it tore me apart. I do not know what it what's what it's going to ha what is go what is going to happen to me or what my uncle's true purpose was. How can you write a note as if it's happening while you're writing in this? What? That's a confusing way of wording it, I think. What? I do not know what it, what is going to happen to me or what my uncle's true purpose. Because if you're writing this, then you had to have survived it. Or you're simply the person that replaced the uncle. I don't know. Or what my uncle's true purpose was in sending me here. But I'm more frightened than I have ever been in my life. And finally, I cannot run away. Like, were these the uncle's notes or my notes? And these are like the, the story of what the uncle went through. Like, before he changed. He seems like it's ours, rather. I'm sort of confused, because the perception changed of what I originally, initially thought. Like, were they just my uncle's notes? Because the notes about the boat, be the boat being gone was a little late. It's kind of confusing. Anyways. Just a bit more. I don't know how we're going to... Okay, this, this is the last place the bed can be. Where will it go from here? I'd be la I'd be, it'd be funny if my original theory was right that we can go downstairs. Oh, jeez. Why have I... Am I the thing? I'm the black goop slamming on the door now? I was created by the... Am I... Box. Am I the black goop? All the black goop are all the illegitimate sons? Ew. Like brain stem. It's like literally brain plus stem. That's gross. Makes me think like every time those fucking... The joke about like the... Not the... The joke about the... Weird sounding screaming climax noises. What if that really is it? Like how many how many children are being born? How many how many times have you taken my my uh my 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 genetic material? If I'm presuming right about the whole father thing, like the creatures are calling the uncle or myself father because they're trying to replicate you, but they're also your son sort of thing? And it did become a fucking eye. I'm so confused, but at the same time, it feels like a lot of my theories became true. Okay, stop squishing so much. Like, am I being replaced? By something that's imitating me? Okay, they just made a sexual too. Fucking, that was definitely sexual orgasmic noises now. Okay, so... Now I'm concerned. Thank you. 
Did I just come into the tower to, like, have orgies? Is this, like... Is this Orgy Island or something? I mean, wait, Orgy Island. I don't think that's a good reference. Just Let's just say it's a lighthouse island with which weird, superstitious creatures and shadow people definitely have sex with you when you're sleeping. And then they, they make shadow children that later try to kill you and call you father. I don't, I don't know. I'm concerned. Oh. That's a lot of boats. Wait, clicking the goop ended it. Wait, what? I'm so confused. I... What? Yeah. Yeah. I can't click it. It's... Too tall. I'm too short. What? What? Do I have to go through the main door? Oh, but I walk. I, I walk or crawl so slow. Like I'm not sure which theory to believe in anymore. Am I the black sludge? Are things duplicating my likeness? Are things cloning me? Are things using my genetic sample to make weird offspring that just sort of go back into the ocean? It's making me think a little bit about Made in Abyss, but not in the exact same way. Can't remember. Like in the Made in Abyss, they have just like these genetic rejects that are on the sixth layer or something like that, or fifth layer. They're all mutated because they're failures. Unlike in Made in Abyss, there's, you get the failures who became deformed and ugly, but if you become chosen and favored, you, you become a furry. That's literally Made in Abyss right now. If you succeed in uh, not being cursed, I can't remember the specific wording, it's just becoming cursed, overloaded with curses, makes you deformed, and if you get... What's the word? I can't remember. Bondrood said it. Really good anime. Really good manga. Should read it. I can't remember what it says. If you're chosen, it literally, like, you become furry, though. It's kind of funny. Can I read some more notes? Hey, hey, hey oh, almost missed them. The handwritten letters are scrawled and smeared clumsily across the page. This is to be my final entry. Try to avoid feeding myself to the light on the sixth and final evening. It made the la night last for five weeks before I finally gave in. Five weeks locked inside, listening to the mournful screams of those pitiful creatures outside as the bricks around me pulsated. Five weeks without the blessed void of sleep to give me respite. So I finally gave in. Let it feed on my terror one last time. The tower has ceased pulsing. The ritual's finished. All I can hear are the soft sounds of the waves as I watch the man with my face slowly drift away on his boat and fade into the mist, starting his long journey back towards all I've ever known and loved. In this terrible fact, in this terrible act of creation, the light has stolen something vital from me and my body has already started breaking down. Black ooze leaks from all the orifices of my face and two of my fingers, two of the fingers on my writing hand have softly collapsed inwards to reveal the pungent liquid gushing from within. I can feel my bones softening, Gravity starting to press on me, as it never has before, and I fear that if I do not soon join the other victims within the depths of the ocean, I will quietly slump into a puddle again and never move again. Maybe these pages can serve as some kind of warning, but I doubt it. By the time anybody reads this, they are already doomed. I'm so, so sorry. So I was right at least, not in the aspect of then children, but there's just all these people are the victims of the lighthouse who stole their identity which was one of the theories at least i was going with but what would that have to do with sexual noises is that just one of the the rites that happens it's like some um uh, it's up to your interpretation that something like like come on that was sexual noises like something fucks you and takes your identity sort of thing oh man 
If it should be one of those situations of don't care had sex and now I'm a black goopy puddle. And if I do if I do my shit right, maybe I'll turn into a fucking slime that can get tentacles and I can become the world's most popular slime who appears on Pornhub and I'll use my tentacles as a, uh, a porn star. I'll be like that black slime that, you know, just goes on to Pornhub and uses my tentacles for lewd purposes. But that was seashells. Much of my ranting had absolutely nothing to do with the game, but at least some of my theories were accurate. So I am content. But I hope you had a enjoyable journey on this game and seashells and you enjoyed the commentary and didn't cringe or anything. Because that's not what I'm going for. Since my humor is either hit or miss and I thank and blame ADHD for that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. That was seashells. Oh, oh, whoops. Leaky figures. Okay, now the game closed. Okay, but that was it. Ugh. I hope you enjoyed. It was in interesting, but that's what I've come to expect out of uh, Leaky Fingers. But if you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, being a little subscriber, hit the bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, until next time. Um.